Hi there Virgo, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I will be doing your June 5th through 11th weekly love reading. Virgo, what do you have for Virgo? Thank you to all the subscribers. If this doesn't resonate with you, please go ahead and check your rising sign and your moon sign. And if you're interested in a private reading, you can find the information below. This is for Virgo, June 5th through June 11th. Love reading. This is a love reading. What do you have for love for Virgo? Excuse me. Looks like your your intuition is like on the ball, you know, and you are the third sign in a row to get this in the same position. So it looks like this is a very intuitive month, okay? There's a lot of uh, messages being sent from the universe, and you're one of the recipients, okay? Um, recipients of all this um, things are moving pretty slow um, you you know I think that there's been some at the beginning of the week you know your intuition is is right on right on cue um, and I think there's a, um, a past love of some sort, a past love. Perhaps somebody is, somebody has just left. Um, maybe somebody from your past has left a relationship and they're, and they're, they're coming towards you where it's calmer. Um, looks like there is no opportunity, though. I mean, you're being you're, the opportunity is being offered to you, but you're not. I don't think it's perhaps what you're looking for. There's no growth. Okay, there's no. Um, motivation it looks like you're not motivated and and it's really slow energy um, barely moving it looks like okay and there's just lack of motivation totally at the end of the week it's like you have no motivation at all you have no motivation for anything <laughs> including work okay it's like geez some curl you don't have any motiv motivation but there's a love at the beginning of the week um we're gonna get some clarifiers this is for virgo <laughs> first week of june <laughs> It looks like, you know, there's been some hurtful, some hurtful words, perhaps. Um, maybe there's somebody talking behind your back or um, telling lies about you. 
I mean, and they're only out for themselves, okay? They have no care whatsoever about how you feel. Um, <laughs> so maybe it's you moving away from moving to a calmer situation, okay? Maybe it's you moving to a calmer situation because somebody's been pretty mean um, and they're and they're t and they're telling lies um, and they don't care about any consequences they don't care um, if they hurt you because um, it's about them it's about what suits them so perhaps you're considering moving away from these this trouble right here these are troubled waters you want to just you're considering moving away from it to where there's no more trouble um but you you're just considering it because you're not doing it you're stuck you're not ready you're not ready for a change you're not ready for a change And I think it's because you're just, um, how you feel about yourself. You've come to a point, you've come to a point where you're, you are happy. You're happy with who you are. Okay. This is for Virgo. You're happy with who you are. It's like an awakening. Okay. Um, Boy, you have a lot of air, air signs here. And I think that it's probably the same one. But this is a... Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. And these people are pretty independent, okay? They're pretty independent. And they can, and they can be very hurtful. Um, they have a very... Um, they have no filter. They have no filter at all. And they say mean things with no regret. They don't have regret afterwards. So it looks like this, this, <laughs> this person is in your reading. And we also have an Aries here. Um, perhaps this person has been... You know, you've been very, this is what I mean, it's like kind of laziness. You don't care about anything. And this goes with these cards right here. You know, at this point you're not feeling like you need to impress anybody. You know, it's not about impressing people. You, you're you very comfortable with yourself. Um, and you're not feeling... You're not feeling um, wounded anymore. I mean, you're not. So, it feels like this is not a love reading. That's what it feels like. Wow, this looks real good. It looks like this is absolute destiny that whatever it is right now. I mean, look at all these majors here. I mean, this is this is something beyond beyond your control. It's being forced. Um, it was a forced lesson from the universe. I think that um, at the beginning of the week, you're still worried. Okay, your intuition has been telling you something, and perhaps somebody has been deceiving you. Um, 
somebody from the past, okay? Somebody that you had a past relationship with. Um, or you're in still in a relationship with them now. Um, and you're really taking some time to think about it, you know? It's really, really weighing on your mind for some reason. Your, your relationship is the one from the past or the one you're in now. And you're thinking about moving to calmer waters. You're thinking about just saying goodbye. Um, but that's a pretty big change, and I don't think you're quite ready for that yet. Um, but this says you have all the resources, okay? You have all the resources to succeed. I mean, you have become one mind, body, and spirit. I mean, or you're so close to becoming one, you just, you're there. You're there, okay? And I, I see that you're very comfortable with who you are. You are. I can see that right away. Um, and if you aren't comfortable with who you are, you just pretend you are. And it comes over really well, okay? It comes over really well. People think that you are. They think that you are very comfortable with, in, with who you are. Um, it looks like you, you're still not ready. You're not ready to make, to take some kind of step. Even though you love yourself so much and you're feeling so good about yourself, you're still not ready to um, let go of something. You're not ready to let go. I, I wonder, and I, you know, you may not be ready to let go, but this is a forced change, okay? Something is going to happen by the end of the week, I'm guessing, that is going to be unexpected okay and it's gonna um, clear up whatever um, concerns or questions that you have regarding a current or past love relationship okay it's gonna something's gonna be big and unexpected that's gonna come in at the end of the week that has to do with love and you're gonna be forced to act and I think um, I think that it's going to be a pretty good outcome because you're going to feel like your wishes have been fulfilled. You're going to feel like this is this is a gift, a gift. You know, you're going to feel blessed um, by the end of the week. So, if you're having questions about your current love life or whatever, it looks like. You're thinking about leaving um, for some reason, I don't know. Um, I think you're whole within yourself. I think that's what it is. You're pretty whole within yourself. So I think that is a big thing for you this week is how, how good you feel about yourself. And so you're considering making some, some big changes, but you're not quite there yet. Um, you're not quite there, but you're considering it. Um, and I think towards the end of the week, you're going to be, something is going to happen unexpected um, that's going to open your eyes. And then you're going to feel like you're going to be so happy. You are. You're, this, I mean, she's not ashamed. She's feeling good. You know, she's on, she's, her wishes have been fulfilled. So whatever it is, it looks really good. And you're going to get the clarifi clarification that you need by the end of the week. We're going to do a couple of these. I love it. <coughs> you deserve love. You deserve love. You are lovable. Right here. This is this is an, on the first week. Because you're considering, you are considering this moving to calmer waters. I mean, you're considering it. 
perhaps you don't really feel loved in the situation that you're in. I'm not sure. Um, but this card is saying that you're, um, you're worthy. You're worthy. Um, over here towards the middle of the week, stay optimistic, optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. And you are. I mean, I think you're a very positive person in general. Um, you are positive. Um, stay optimistic. Because whatever, you know, you're considering this, but maybe you're considering it too soon. I don't, I mean, that's kind of what I think. Stay optimistic about your love life. Positive thinking and faith will bring you romance. <clears throat> maybe your thoughts on this other person or whoever it is, you know, is messing it up. And over towards the end of the week, release your ex. The time has come to clear your energy. I don't know how you're going to do that. I mean, how are you going to clear your energy? Perhaps this, this past relationship is really affecting your current, your current relationship. I mean, that could definitely be it. So, that's what I have for you, Virgo. Thank you.